Hello YouTubers, this is part two of my demonstration of Windows Mobile 6.5 that's coming out on October 6th. I downloaded this from XDA developers ahead of time. This is the Energy ROM version of 6.5. There's all kinds of cooked, they call them cooked ROMs, available for uh, the Touch Pro 2, uh, the Rhodium uh, Touch Pro 2 and uh, I installed the energy ROM version because it is the most uh, stable out there. The uh, previous video went over some of the features. Uh, let, me, let me show you some more of this, just, just how cool this is. The, um, what's really attractive is the, the combination of touch flow uh, 3D, which is an HTC feature. This, this here, this slider, like this. This is Touch Flow 3D by HTC. It comes on various HTC devices and on this one it, it, it came on a Touch Pro 2. So this is a really cool interface that's used in conjunction with 6.5 that's the the new OS coming out for Windows Mobile. The customization is, is, is fantastic on this watch this I have the ability to uh, you, as you know that this has a um, a uh, tilt screen and a, 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 a um, slider keyboard one of the customizations you can do is that when you open the keyboard you can have sounds go off and it's, it's just a fun thing to do so I'll uh, let me demonstrate some of the sounds that that uh, you can have when you open and close the keyboard so right now I have it set up it's called a British voice so watch this the keyboard is opened isn't that cool and there's my keyboard uh, I have an, another custom item on here it's called the program is called advanced configuration and you're able to go into that program and set all all types of uh, functions features and whatnot uh, for the touch pro 2 so one of the the uh, features that that i wanted and that you have the ability to do on this phone is to keep this keyboard lit the default for this keyboard is it stays lit for about 10 seconds and then it goes out and it's really annoying especially if you're typing and you pause for uh, uh, longer than 10 seconds the keyboard goes out and you have to like hunt for a key to press so this program called advanced configuration allows you to set it to, to however long you want the keyboard to stay lit so I have it set to the max which is 10 minutes and yeah that's a power drain but if I have it plugged in that's no big deal and plus if it's like this well I'm still at 98 percent battery power so I don't give a rip you know I want this keyboard to stay on so here it is as you can see I'm in tilt screen mode I can be typing an email and this keyboard is staying lit for 10 minutes after the last key press so if I press another key right now it's going to stay on from 10 minutes from that point I think that's really cool. So here, I'm going to close it. The keyboard is closed. Isn't that cool? Now, let's see if I can find. I'm still learning this system, but let me find the uh, where that particular feature is. That the trouble with this is that these icons there's so many icons and they're just buried in here I mean and you, you just have to look for them all the time so the they call that the keyboard sounds something like sliding sounds see I mean who comes up with these names I mean I guess that's fine that name sliding sounds but why not call it keyboard sounds or something because I'll look under K instead of sliding sounds well here we go I'll open this up 
and you can see the various ones that I can select. Okay. Now watch this. I mean, this is worth the price of admission right here, in my opinion. You can pick Star Trek. Are there any Star Trek fans out there? Watch this. This, you can test play it uh, ahead of time. So it plays the opening sound and the closing sound in one track. Isn't that cool? Here's, uh, how about Transformers? And if that's a little too wild for you, you can have a female voice. Keyboard open. Keyboard closed. I mean, I can play with this all night. Star Trek computer. Program ready. Program complete. So again, every time I open and close the keyboard, it's going to make these sounds. One for opening, one for closing. Here's sci-fi. Lightsaber. Open, close. Open, close. That's pretty boring, isn't it? Here's Ahmed the Dead Terrorist. I kill you! Silence! So it says I'll kill you when you open it and silence when you close it. Here's Mario. How about when you're at the shopping mall and you open up your phone and it does that? How about HAL 2001? Okay, and then you can have some timid ones that are soothing. That's tame enough. How about a piano? Xylophone? Okay, and let's see what this one... <laughs> Vista? And I'll do one more. That's zipper. All right, what to leave it at? Let's put it on how. I'm completely operational, and all my circuits are functioning perfectly. Goodbye. Okay, that's that. And demo that. Now that I've selected it. Wasn't that fun? And I pretty much burned up my time on this video demoing the sliding keyboard. <laughs> so, anyway, all right, I'll end this and I'll do um, one more part three uh, to show you 6.5. Uh, I know I'm probably not covering anything that you want to see, but I'm showing you the eye candy basically and the fun stuff. But what the heck, that's what it's all about. Okay, I'll end this video and tune in for part three of 6.5.